All right, all right. Uh, episode two is on the mark right now. Hey, how's it going? It's David again. Back with episode two of the Just Done podcast. I'm um, here to talk about some more NBA. Um, let's get started. So, the first thing I wanted to talk about for the NBA is um, Anthony Davis in particular. Like, Right now, the Lakers just beat Miami. Pretty pretty close game. Um, but, I mean, with the, the play of Anthony Davis right now, dude. I mean, Anthony Davis, in my opinion, needs to be uh, considered for MVP right now. You can't you can't beat this on like that. So, hey, hey, man. Hey. Uh, my bad, It's called control. Yeah, I mean, he looks like he has a... Defensive player of the year locked right now so far. I mean, this dude is so elite right now in, like, every defensive metric whatsoever. He's, like, number one in blocks right now. He's second in defensive win shares. Third defensive rating as a player. And on top of that, he's also averaging, like, 26, 9, and 3. So, basically, 26 points, 9 rebounds, 3 assists. Um, Yeah, I mean, he, he's, like, a... Dark horse, dark horse right now for MVP, but so far the top candidates: um, Giannis, Luka Doncic, James Harden, LeBron James, and Pascal Siakam. So, I mean, people don't really mention him too much. They only mention him as like a defensive player of the year so far. And uh, I mean, it looks like he has a lockdown. I mean, there's like, I think the last year's defensive player of the year was like Rudy Gobert, but uh, Rudy Gobert is kind of having not too great of a season on on the defensive end on his standards so far, and I mean, dude, Anthony Davis is just proven like to everyone, like, dude, I am, I am that guy right now, and dude, he is killing it right now. I mean, he was just like nominated for like that what like those like weekly Western Conference Player of the Week stuff. I mean, dude's actually like, well, like. 35 points per game. I mean, dude, Anthony Davis is so good, man. So good. And yet, I mean, there's like a narrative right now for like ESPN and the jump. And then they really want to push LeBron James as the MVP. But um, I, I'm not, I don't think he's going to win this season either way. I mean, even though he's playing great too. Um, I just don't think that um, – I just feel like – a player of Anthony Davis' caliber should be taking votes away from him because that's that was the narrative with Kevin Durant and Steph Curry and for for uh, for LeBron James, um, um, what's it called to win MVP while playing with Anthony Davis and the narrative like a couple seasons ago with Kevin Durant and like Steph Curry. I mean, it's just just kind of weird, but I mean, it is what it is. But I mean, Anthony Davis, dude, like hell, I mean, what can you say? Like the Lakers. Lakers are killing it right now. I mean, they just beat um, the Heat um, on their home floor on the road, and they were undefeated so far. And the Heat were, were killing it. Now, you know, I saw some, like, things where people were saying, like, well, if they had dragage or, like, Winslow, things might be different. I mean, yeah, things might be different, but, you know, the Lakers need to close things out, like, for, like, teams, like, on the road. Like, you know, like, certain teams, uh, you'll, you'll see, like, whether or not certain teams fold under, under under pressure right now, and like I mean the Lakers got it all right now. Like they're just like trucking teams so far. Um, the biggest matchup coming up is going to be against the Bucks. I mean it'll, it'll be like two clashes of the top conference teams to see who will come to the top. I mean Giannis is Giannis is killing it too. I mean the way Giannis is playing right now, and he's like getting rested because of all these blowouts for the the Bucks. Like he should also he, he should be the front runner for MVP again back to back. Like I mean that that would be my pick. Like he's not having a player on the caliber of Anthony Davis on his team. Um, he has to like carry the load. I mean Chris Middleton's been hurt as well. Uh, Bledsoe, I mean, eh, Bledsoe, I'm not, I'm not a believer in Bledsoe, but you, there's no denying that, uh, Giannis is like on a whole nother level right now. He's like, he stepped it up. 
everything. He's still, still killing it and like anchoring the defense right now for the Bucks. It's this dude's also good, so good. But yeah, back to the Anthony Davis. I mean, I mean, you can like see like from his days in the Pelicans, like dude, this guy is so versatile. I mean, in my opinion, he he is basically like the modern incarnation of like Kevin Garnett. I mean, this guy's super lanky, elite in defense, two-way player, franchise player. Um, that trade for like the Pelicans and the Lakers, like giving up like Brandon Ingram, Lonzo Ball, I'd do that shit like 10 out of 10 again. Like, why wouldn't you want Anthony Davis? Like, Anthony Davis is like a borderline superstar in my opinion. Like, some people say he's a superstar. Like, He's top five, blah blah blah. I don't think he's top five. I think um, I think he hasn't done enough to warrant you know top five. But that's my opinion. I mean, like people like to like, go, what's it called? Um, just like give people more credit than they deserve. Um, I just felt like Anthony Davis. He just, he has not had enough postseason like, like appearances, and he just. He just need to prove himself more. And like, I mean, this season he's just killing it right now. So I mean, we'll see what happens uh, come uh, Christmas time when they play against the Clippers again. Like, how would they react to Anthony Davis that's playing now? Like, Lakers are rolling, still kind of streaky. I mean, man, Danny Green. I think Kuzma's hurt right now. Rondo, ooh, ooh, I, I ain't feeling it, but. I mean, Anthony Davis needs to get get his props right now. Like, he really needs to get MVP consideration. But I mean, no one's no one's really giving it to him in the media so far that I've known. But you know, uh, dude's dude's a killer, dude. He's like, I'm just so glad that like, we traded those <laughs> those fucking guys for someone of the caliber of Anthony Davis. The only issue is he needs to resign, and if he doesn't resign, then like, you know. That ruins everything, but, you know, it is what it is, but hopefully it stays.